Ladies and gentlemen, we have just received footage from an interview that occurred last week on Raw that was not seen on television. Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, the number one contender for the WWE Championship, The Miz. Shut up, Cole. I know who I am. I'm the most must-see WWE superstar and soon to be WWE Champion in history. John Cena, we've had our problems in the past. And yes, you've come out on top. But I'm twice the wrestler now than I was when I beat you at WrestleMania. Tonight, I proved to everyone that I've still got it. I'm on a roll. And this Sunday, good luck stopping me. That title is coming back to the awesome one. Because I'm The Miz... And I'm awesome. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Miz coming out and uh, having an interview after Raw finished last week. So that happened after Raw was done. It was an exclusive interview that I wanted to show you guys that just before SmackDown and Main Event occurred. So let's just say it, it uh, aired on Main Event. Now, we'll talk that, we'll get into that a bit later, but first of all, let's get through our main event. Now, we have Drew McIntyre versus Tensai. Let's uh, get into it. We got Drew McIntyre winning, Talia and Eve. Eve winning, Tyson Kidd and Tatsu. Tyson Kidd winning, Cesaro and Rollins. It's uh, Cesaro winning and Ryback and Mysterio. Wow, this is actually a really good main event. Uh, Mysterio winning, so... That's actually probably like all the top guys uh, on SmackDown and Raw that never rarely make the cut featured on main event. And I guess that's why we have that show, so they can actually build momentum and whatnot. Anyways, moving on to SmackDown. So we have Darren Young versus Jimmy Uso. Uso. So those two guys, both amongst the tag team division, probably feuding with each other, trying to, I don't know, get some momentum in. Perhaps get a singles, singles, uh, well not a singles, sorry, a tag team push or shot if they, I don't know, beat each other singles-wise. Who knows? Kobe Kingston versus Christian, so in a false count anywhere match, so that could be a good one because remember, if you go back to last SmackDown, we had Punico, Christian, and Cody Rhodes in a triple threat, triple threat match for the number one contendership, and Cody Rhodes won. So this is actually Kobe Kingston versus Christian, so this is the match that could have been. So it's, anyway, it's an Extreme Rules um, rematch. So that's Fool's Can anyway. So that could be a good one. We might we might actually do that one. AJ Lee versus Kelly Kelly in a number one contenders match for the Divas title. That'll be good. Alright, so we have a tag team number one contendership as well. So we have three MBs, Heath Slater and Jinder Mahal versus Primo and Epico. So that will be good. And the main event, Big Show versus Daniel Bryan here on SmackDown. So it's a pretty good show. Let's go check out the rankings though. So here we go. We have... Big Show is the World Heavyweight Champion. Daniel Bryan is in contention alongside Del Rio, Henry, and Orson. Now, I don't think we... I can't recall a number one contender match for the World Heavyweight Championship, so I'm not sure who will be facing uh, the Big Show at at Over the Limit. So I'm, I will find out, of course, after the episode, after this episode. But I don't know yet. I, I can't remember. I think... Uh, I'm not sure if Daniel Bryan will, though, because... I think the way the game works, if he's a tag team champion, he's going to have a tag team match for the titles. So he's going to be booked up in that one. So he won't be featured there. So I'm betting on Del Rio. It could be a triple threat fatal four-way match. I'm hoping I'm hoping so. I hope we can get more guys in there. Who knows? We'll find out. Now, we know Cody Rhodes is the number one contender. As I've said, Christian Hunico, Justin Gabriel amongst that as well. For the tag team titles, I guess it doesn't really matter because we're going to find out who is the number one contender tonight, and the same as the Divas Championship as well. So let's uh, let's get straight into it. I think um, I think we'll do the tag team match. Just change it up. I think we've done a lot of uh, the Intercontinental scene. I know this match would be a pretty good one, but we've seen it before. We haven't seen this match, so we'll do this one. So we have D Young and Jimmy Uso. D Young winning. And then the Falls Count Anywhere match, the Intercontinental Champion, getting some, mo some momentum to this Sunday's Over the Limit pay-per-view. More about that in a minute. Lee versus Kelly Kelly. Lee is an unwanted tenor for the Divas Championship, so she could be going on and beating Alicia Fox at Over the Limit for the title. We'll see. In the main event, Big Show versus Daniel Bryan, a match that could be, who knows, for the World Heavyweight Championship this Sunday. So it could be a preview. 
I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. And as always, Daniel Bryan winning. He's beaten the, the World Heavyweight Champion. So Daniel Bryan deserves to be in the uh, World Heavyweight Championship at Over the Limit. Will it happen? I don't know, but we'll find out. So let's get into our match for this episode. Tag team action. Now, as always, it's a number one contenders match, so I cannot play the match. Just stop being biased. Actually, I don't really care who wins out of this one. I don't like any of the teams. Probably for 3MB, I say. I don't think Primo and Epico are good at all. I, I just don't like them. So, I'm, I'm betting on 3MB winning. Well, 2 I guess we could say 2MB. Because um, the game won't let you alternate between tag team partners, which I think is silly. I think you should be able to have more than one tag team amongst the three. So, I think you should be able to have, I don't know, all three guys teaming up, randomly changing all the time. And then once they're champion, then yeah, that's the definite tag team. But other than that, you know, I don't know. Surely, surely they can come up with that, but we'll see. Jinder Mahal, yeah, well. Of course, we don't have the 3MB alpha, which, uh, which is a bit of a shame, you know, they're pretty cool. <laughs> I love how um, I love how Primo and Epico get cheers in this game. That's be the only place they ever get cheers in a video game, and even even then, yeah, it's not even that good. Wait, wait, aren't they heel? Aren't they a heel tag team? Why the hell are they babyface my in my universe mode? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't I don't care. Now, all right, so we're not playing. We'll sit back and watch. We'll let it go for a bit. We're going to talk about the upcoming pay per view. So we have Over the Limit coming up. Now, this Sunday in the the game time, when I will be doing the video, I'm not sure. I'm saying next week. Now, I want to do a lead-up video promoting the pay-per-view. So, what I have in mind is really, really cool, and I really want to do that. And I think you guys would love that video because it'll highlight all the things that have been going on over the past, oh, it's probably about uh, eight, nine episodes now. So, to fill in the, fill in the blanks... And um, it'll also really set up the, each match really nicely for for you guys. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do it a whole, all one big package or one little individual. Um, of course, I'm going to be doing a promo. So individual promo for before the match. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Should I do one whole big thing and do it a separate video? Or should I do individual promos before each match at Over the Limit? So let me know what you think. I'd like to do maybe even both. I think um, we can have one whole big package and then we can have a separate promo. You know, maybe we can have an interview with, uh, like we did with The Miz, or we can have an interview with uh, Del Rio before his match at Big Show or whatever, something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. I'd like to do something like that, add a little bit more story mode to my universe mode. That's something I want to do, something I plan on doing. Now, big news, big news I want to share with you guys Coming at Money in the Bank, we are going to have one legend return. Now, who that legend is, you guys decide. I want you guys to decide who that legend is, and he has to face a guy who's on this roster, a full-time guy. So you can have Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk, Undertaker versus John Cena, whatever. It's going to happen at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Now, those guys, whoever, well, whoever's in that feud, will come back. Now, I guess you can maybe... Uh, no, I'll, I'll scrap that. I was going to say you could do um, Brock versus Cena versus CM Punk, for example. You no, know, we'll just do a one-on-one -on -one feud. Now, those guys are going to have a match at Money in the Bank. Now, you normally you get about one or two matches that are, aren't for the title, so we should be able to fit that in quite quite perfectly. And we can, so we can set that up ourselves, whatever. Now, I want to know what the stipulation for that match is. Who's going to be in the match and how you would like me to play it out. I'm going to do promos. I'm going to set up the feud and do use story story mode to kind of build that feud. So that'll be the kind of the story mode integration into the universe mode using um, that feud. That'll be our main focus around our future episodes of universe mode. I think that would be really, really cool and it would add that interesting little dynamic into the show in coming weeks. So... If you guys are interested in seeing that, it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter if you don't want it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you don't want to see that anyways, because I'm going to do it. But if you have any suggestions on who you want to see, so legends include Rock, Lesnar, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Edge, JBL, Booker T, I'm um, missing one, 
missing missing one missing triple h so any guys that have been have wrestled in the past i don't know you know two through two three years whatever you know i don't want guys who are like dead or from the attitude era we're not going to use those guys um no i was going to say mick foley but no we won't do him so those are your options come up with something and um we will do that at money in the bank so any stipulation can happen any type of match can happen as long as it's not like a 30 minute iron man match we don't want to see that but we want to be entertaining you guys have the option this is match this match is in your hands so the most thumbs up comment or the most requested match will happen so get commenting right now tell me and also comment in the in future videos if you if you've just come up with an idea let me know it will I'll start to build that up after over the limit so you'll have a week or two to let me know so if you can just leave a comment down in the video or you can message me on Twitter now I need to plug my Twitter at Brendan plays so the name of my YouTube channel is the same name for my Twitter I need followers come come check me out you can keep up with all the latest there I always forget I've been every video I've been trying to think remember tell the people that you Twitter tell about Twitter there is a Twitter so that's it now we have a we'll go back to the match here looks as though 3MB kind of on top here I'm, I'm not paying a lot of attention to be honest but the tag team match I think um, would be a good one if it was 3MB versus um, hell no I think uh, that'll be much more entertaining than a uh, pretty much epic guy I think but yeah so it's just a little surprise that uh, 3MB is at the top. I mean, and uh, Primo and Epico. I would have thought maybe like the Luchadors would be up there. I don't know. All right, something's going on here. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What the hell? What the? What the hell are you doing? I think that's that's Epico, isn't it? I always forget who who's who. What the hell is he doing? This is a number one contenders match. And you barely out in your partner? Well, I think we know who's going to win this one. What an idiot. Is this like the end of Primo and Epico? What the, what the hell? Holy shit. He's just turned on his partner. And, all right, yeah, okay, you can do that after you lose the match, but not whilst you're in it. This is your chance to go on to Over the Limit, which you never get to be a part of because you suck and you will never be on a pay-per-view. And perhaps have perhaps win the tag team titles, and you turn on your banner when you have that opportunity. I'm gonna laugh if if they win. I'm, knowing universe mode, these two guys are gonna win. Oh man, that, that'll be all. It'll, it'll, the game will act like nothing. It's happened, of course, but it would be awkward, you know, if that happened in the real life. If he went on to win, and then uh, Epico was forced to compete in the match, that and those two guys are just like, you yeah, know, fuck you. I don't. I, I hate you. Blah blah blah. That would be awkward. Well, hell, that's pretty much like Daniel Bryan and Kane anyway, how they are anyway, so I guess it'd be something similar to that. Now, anyways, Over the Limit should be a fantastic show. It's been my second pay-per-view for this universe, but the first one was an absolute success. I loved it. Had a hell of a lot of fun, so it should be a really fun show. I know it's going to be like an hour long, as always, so it's going to be a long video, but don't worry, I'm going to let that video be up for like a week so you guys gonna have plenty of time to go check it out so don't worry if you say oh my god it's an hour long i don't have time to sit down and watch that i don't want to fall too far behind but all you little loyal fans i know there's a few out there but yeah so if you want to go and uh just watch i don't know 10 minutes today well, for example 10 minutes today 10 minutes on next week well 10 minutes three days later anyways well 3MB have won, so as I expect, the 3MB are the new number one contenders. And that's a big win. That is a big win. Now they're going to go on to face Team Hell No at Over the Limit. And we've, I guess we're going to have a, a heel turn with Epico. Who knows? So, yeah. Over the Limit will be a really good show. I'm, I'm plugging it right now. I want you guys to go really check it out. Tell all your friends about it. If you go. Oh, wait a minute. It's the Shield. It's the Shield. Oh, my God. This is getting better and better. Oh, it's the shield. Oh, my God. That's injustice. That is injustice. Oh, God. This is perfect. This is a, this is the best episode of SmackDown ever. I'm so glad I chose this match. Holy shit, guys. What an episode. Over the Limit coming very, very soon. Check it out. 
Make sure you stay tuned because there is a pay-per-view plug video coming soon. Go check out my other videos. There's plenty more. There's story mode. There's GM mode. There's NBA videos. There's plenty more. Go check it out. Follow me on Twitter, Brendan Plays. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video, blah, blah, blah. You know what to do. And I am out. Goodbye.